Hello, Taurus. How are you guys? I hope all is well. Let me just watch you up a little bit. <clears throat> I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, you are watching my channel. If you are new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. And if you're returning, Taurus, welcome back, babes. I'm here to do a general read for you guys. So this will be not for love, not for career, but for whatever you cease to put this in your life, it's where you put it, okay? If it does not apply, as I always tell everyone, to let the shit fly out the window. This is a general read, so there will be some parts that don't resonate with you, and it might go for another tourist, okay? Your brother, sister, tourist, so you know. Um, this is the Oracle deck. I'm going to pull three cards from this deck about energy and what you need to be working on going forward. To book me for a personal read or cash out me a donation, it is in the description box or on my page. Um, what else I going to say? Uh, it's a timeless read. So Spirit says whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get this message, okay? And it is general. Like I said, you must be a Taurus. I have Taurus in your birth chart for this to resonate. And yeah, let's pray over this reading. Higher power, source, give me messages for my Taurus that watch my channel. For cross watchers, help me be a person to heal them, help them, guide them on their way, Spirit. I ask that you, Higher power, I ask that you come in, come in and take over this reading. Guide my words, encourage me, and to encourage them as well, Spirit. Higher power, source, I ask that you send your angels, like Archangel, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, and my own personal angels, ancestors, to guide me and to help me through this reading. In the higher power's name we pray. We are nothing without you. Amen. Let's go, guys. Top of the deck, Taurus General Reads. You got give love. Okay, so right now somebody is on the two of cups with that ass. They like, yeah, boo. Yeah, baby. It's either your child, your job, your somebody is like really loving you. Your cousin, your sister, your brother, your mama. Somebody is like, oh. You is my two of cups. This is soulmate energy. It uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is Cancer energy twice with the moon in the back. Um, but this is definitely someone um, dreams coming true with you. I feel like um, this is uh, some misconceptions were settled. This is uh, deceptions coming to si subsiding deceptions and coming to life. This is illusions that you guys had with two, two, two on the clock, and I feel like they're subsiding as well. Okay, so this is definitely two of cups energy. That is like. Um, potential soulmate happy with choices you know um this is then you got um healing waters so i feel like somebody's taking a spiritual bath or a spiritual shower someone's thinking about doing this is pisces cancer scorpio energy i feel like you're using water to heal whether it's drinking water you're using um rain water and actually blessing it praying over it, sitting it outside um or you're making witch water with the actual um moon and the sun's energy but there's something going on with water that's healing right now for you but I'm getting a tub, though, for most of you, sitting in a tub of water at 3 or 3 o'clock. Air magic. This is um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Air magic is definitely uh, about the mind. So I feel like right now you're mentally manifesting things into your existence, things that you want, things that you desire, things that you know that you deserve, uh, things that you know that you deserve. You're writing these things down because you see he got his pencil and his pad, baby. And he looking out the window. He's seeing the sun. That's Aquarius energy. And the sun is always about, um, you know, positivity, freedom, truth. Good luck opening up, optimistic joy. Yes, yeah, self expression with 333 on the clock. Last card you got um, transformation and change. And then you got at the bottom of the deck learning, learning from life. So, transformation and change and learning from life is basically the same thing. I feel like you are learning from life, and that is the transformation and change with you. There are some things that made you a better person, some things that destroyed you and rebuilt you, rebuilt you for a better person. I feel like there's been a lot of heartache with love life, a lot of heartache maybe with parents as well, but all these heartaches made you be the person you are today, and you standing up strong, okay? And that's all this is about, learning from life. Life has been the best teacher ever, not, not necessarily your mom, your dad, but life itself whooping your ass, <laughs> okay, gifting you. Showing you the way. You're the universe. Gaia. Higher power. This has been your year. And then you got transformation and change. I feel like right now, right now you are transform transformation. You're going through a transformation and you're changing right before everybody's eyes. Okay. You're becoming a better you, period. Point blank dot fucking com. You better know it. You better know it, baby. All right. Let's get into your read. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Chris Cross. I don't know. One hop this time. Somebody wants to wait. Three hops, let's jump. I don't know what it just came from. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Uh, 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 uh. Get funky with it. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. 
I don't know, I'm going to some party today. Maybe I'm going to hear that song. So I'm like, what is that? Okay, it's just really loud. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Today is uh, the portals. The portals are open. Today is the 19th and it's year 2021. So that's 19, 2021. The portals are open. You know, the, the, the seats are walking the earth today. Spirits are walking the earth. Good spirits. Messages from my Taurus, please. Spirit. Taurus general read. Messages, spirit for Taurus. Messages for general read for my Taurus, please. For the collective that watch me. And for my freaking cross watchers, what it do, baby? Taurus, please. Give me messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. All right. Page of Wands. Four of Swords. Five of Swords in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Lover's card. <laughs> Queen of Cups. This is real simple. You got the seven and the eight of pentacles, right? So I don't know what part of your life that you've been building and you've been like manifesting, but the eight, the seven and eight of pentacles is Virgo towards Capricorn energy. Okay. This is your energy. This is being at a crossroads and being patient with decisions. You're questioning, you're evaluating, you're planning shit out with your money, your finances, and your love motherfucker life. You nurturing what needs to be nurtured. You're getting rid of what needs to be, what needs to be getting rid of. Okay. This is quality and commitment with the eight. So not only are you at a crossroads, you are, you want quality in your love life. And career. You want quality and you want commitment. You don't want no bullshit, no cheap shit, no dumb shit. This is concentrating success, confident in the results you'll get, okay? Having a good reputation and being patient with the seven and the eight of pentacles. I feel like you building because next is the nine of pentacles and then the ten. You know what I'm saying? You're getting that bag. You're getting that shit money. You got a plan. It's something to do with, something to do with money for some of y'all. Y'all build it. You, 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 you know, you build it. Talents turned into profit. So I feel like some of you have um writing, poem, children, cooking, um, there are certain talents you guys have, acting, singing, dancing, doing hair, um, yeah, poetry, like I said, writing children's books, writing adult books, oh shit, writing adult sexual books, I'm picking up, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely somebody that wants to come in with the page of wands and start a new, fresh start with you, it could be your child, it could be a spouse, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, they see you rising above and they see you got it going on, they weren't talking to you or you weren't talking to them because somebody was burnt out. Somebody was tired with the five of swords. There was something that collapsed. There was some trick trickery and some type of dishonor. I feel like someone had you involved in somebody else's shit or either somebody you was dealing with and your family was involved in your shit or something. Some dealing with some conflict with the five of swords, dragged into others' conflict, unresolved conflict. It's a five dollar about cock. Crisis, chaos, and competition. And I feel like right now that's what it was going on. Somebody was competing for something. It was a competition. Yeah. And there was somebody not talking to. Yeah. And whatever this is, um, I feel like you kind of pushed your way through because you got the lovers in reverse. Is there was some disagreements, some arguments with somebody you really love? Your the Queen of Cups is here in reverse. This is definitely giving too much to something, being very sensitive. Something had you de depressed. Okay, somebody could have been manipulating you or they could have been disloyal towards you. Okay, but the Queen of Cups is definitely an energy of emotionally insecure, blocked, dark uh, feelings, and moody, insensitive, and fake romance. Somebody could have been faking like they really fucked with you or they didn't. The lovers in reverse is um, inconsistent, impatient, and, and indecisive about disharmony. This is misalignment with somebody, disconnection. The lovers card is a lot of arguments going back and forth, trust issues, disharmony, conflict, disattachment, and disconnection. When someone wants to celebrate with you, even though they broke your heart, they want to have this fresh start with you. The Three of Cups is definitely celebration. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, baby shower, bar mitzvah. Either they just see you turn, they see you getting your shit together, body, man, and soul. They just like, oh, I need to go in and celebrate with Taurus. Because I did the Three of Swords. I broke the heart. I made some conflict, whether it's your child, your baby daddy, your mama, your spouse. Somebody know they fucked you over. They upset you. They had you in tears with the Three of uh, Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Engine. They had you upset. It was separation, some type of breakup. Cause your tears. Now they want to come in and celebrate after all these tears. Because they want to have a brand new start with you because they offered you unrequited love in the past for some of you. Okay? They want to actually have sex with some of you. They want to give you this big dick. This is um, Ace of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. Now, like I said, if it ain't that, they, it's some money involved. Okay? But this is ambitious, expanding, doing something new. The Ace of Cups is unrequited love. They know they fucked you over. They had you crying. Look at these tears. Something had you in your feelings, Taurus. It's this king of wands. Worried about money, okay? And now they feel like they missed the opportunity with you. Whoever this is, baby daddy, whoever. Okay, they was focused on money. They feel like they missed the opportunity with you. 
There was some self-doubt and decisions. Okay, judgment is here in reverse. That's definitely some um, type of bad gossip. They was probably talking shit about you. This is karmic lesson, self-doubt. They're talking to their mama, their daddy, their cousins. Oh, I don't fuck with so-and-so no more because da 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 Now they see you as the motherfucking son. Aquarius energy. They're like, damn, daddy. <laughs> you did some dumb shit. Yeah. Positive pregnancy. Somebody want to put a baby in it. Somebody want to marry somebody. Somebody want to be with somebody. Boyfriend, girlfriend. It's just truth. Opens up. Good luck. Somebody want to hire somebody. Somebody want to be somebody's friend again. Somebody want to be your best cousin, your best friend. Okay. Yep. Two of Wands. They know they lack. With the Three of Pentacles, they know they lack commitment and effort. They know they hid, they hid secrets, or, you know, they kept from you, and they weren't fair. Libra energy. Okay. The King of Swords, your ass. They was, and you was also weak for this person, weak for this decision. The King of Swords is definitely brutal, aggressive, dishonest judgment, lack of structure, intimidation. You know, trying to mind fuck you, left you hanging. And now you got the two of wands here, Leo sad to see. They had you in conflict for a position in their life or something. Okay. Or, 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 or something, some type of. You had to fight for the attention of their love. Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. And the two of wands is definitely an energy of uh, detaching from something to somebody suddenly leaving a situation and coming your way, a job or something, a family member. Okay, this is letting go. Okay, and seeking other options. All right, Taurus, this has been your general read. Click like, subscribe, share me. Come back and see me. I am Phoenix Rising. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sending you love and life, Taurus. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching me. Till next time. Bye-bye, guys.